It's 8 a.m. in Downing Street, cabinet's about to start, and snapper Steve Back is on the prowl. Morning, sir. How are you? He never looks at you. So grumpy. Doesn't look round. Dominic Grave. No, that's that's uh, Chris Grayling, sorry. Chris Grayling. Previously a photographer on the Daily Mail, he went freelance after a helicopter crash in Iran. Ever since, he's been catching big names in all sorts of situations. Jogging, a particular speciality. I walk around the park early in the morning and I bump into David Cameron, who doesn't jog anymore, he's injured. In fact, he has Masseur come to, his, come to number 10 now. And uh, George Osborne, frequently, who asked me to jog with him the other day, a really nice guy, and so... Um, uh, I've, Mervyn King is in there quite a bit as well. He's also made his name with a series of accidentally revealed document photos. One led to the resignation of a senior commander from the Met Police. Another showed the minister, Oliver Letwin, dumping papers in a park bin. Did part of you think, you know what, the decent thing would be to tell him rather than expose him to the world? Um, I'm a journalist. I was just doing my job. I didn't know whether it was my job to tell him, I thought, as, a, as, a, as Cameron's closest aide, that this man should not be doing this. Round the corner, Stefan Russo is at a prayer vigil organised by opponents of gay marriage. Working for the UK's biggest news agency, the Press Association, he's the photographer of record. A lot of the time it's men standing around in suits talking to each other, but it's because of who they are. You know, I could go into the, I could go into the uh, cabinet room at number 10 with the Prime Minister sitting there drinking a cup of coffee, ordinarily a very dull picture, but because it's a Prime Minister, you suddenly look into it and you think, oh wow, you know. And he's been there for other private moments, like when it dawned on David Cameron that he'd just become PM. You try to just blend into the, the crowd that were coming in and hopefully nobody sees you. I switched my flash off at that point because I thought if my flash goes off, they're going to realise I'm in here. And so, but it worked, yeah. Although for every momentous occasion or state visit, there's a charity children's party where the Chancellor meets a boy band. It does mean that photographers are great sources of Westminster Village gossip, though. They see and hear everything. And on big news days, you can usually find them here, in the juice bar underneath our office, where they edit, then file their pictures. I wonder who's been unflatteringly papped today? And what they've revealed?